I need to quit playing and bring this back. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know if it just fell off the, the highway on, on the California interstate. I just don't understand. I mean, you know, I don't know where that thing is, okay? I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie. I feel like I'm not gonna like it. What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are going to be trying out the Jaclyn Hill launch that I was not expecting to receive in the mail that I did. So let's try it out and see how it looks on me. Make sure you are subscribed here. Follow me on Instagram and also text me. It's US only, sorry, but make sure you text me. It's a free community that you can join if you wanted to. All right, also, we are in a new setup. You have, maybe you've noticed it already. I'm just switching things up a bit. Comment and let me know what you think about this setup. This is a YouTube video. In case you're like, what, Fireplace? It's a YouTube video that just plays there are lots of them. Some of them are live, some of them are non-stop, some of them are 10 hours, eight hours, it just depends. So that's what that is. Okay, so ideally, I wouldn't have watched any videos regarding this new launch because I wanna have my own first impression about it, but I watched several videos on it because I was not expecting to get it. You know how the videos go out before the product actually launches? The whole point of that is to work up an anticipation for people to want to purchase it. Well, this came in the mail and I was like, oh, okay, thank you. So I have seen videos on this, but I'm to try and make sure that my opinion is not swayed by what anybody else has already said, okay? Mm, but I, oh! <laughs> oh, do you notice that? Do you see that? There's a light underneath me. That's cool. Okay, KK, let me find out. We got, you. maybe you can't tell, but this is lit up. That is so cute. That was a shocker to me. Hi. That is so cute. First of all, I love the representation on the box. It is just gorgeous to me. And that just made me smile. Now, despite all of the drama, I like Jaclyn Hill. I've been following her for a long time. I still follow her stories and, and her, her whole entire journey. I hope that this is gonna work out for me, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. My review is not based on me liking her personality or just liking her whole journey. That has nothing to do with it, okay? All right, so I'm looking at the Morphe site right now. This is called the Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. There are 12 shades to this, it's $34, and it's described as a comfy real skin blurring tint. It doubles as a blurring primer and a tinted moisturizer. It has sheer coverage which I'm like, what? Okay, how sheer? Delivers a natural finish that blurs texture and enhances the look of skin for that just woke up glow. So it's not supposed to give too much coverage, but I'm going to do a full face. So, or should I just do just that? I don't know. Let's see, let's just see, okay? It's got beta glucan in it to help improve skin tone and sodium hyaluronate helps draw in moisture and hydration. So this is a very hydrating, natural finish type of product. Like I said, it has 12 shades. I have been given the last three shades so I have deep, which has neutral red undertones. I have deep rich with neutral undertones. And then I have rich with neutral red undertones. So because we were already established that I don't like red in my foundations, I'm going to use deep rich, which is deep rich with neutral undertones. Now what I can say is that I wish that there was the color or the shade of the product on the bottom. The actual bottle is beautiful, but I wish that from the outside, you can just get a glimpse of what exact shade this is, but that's neither here nor there. It's got a pump, obvi, and we're gonna try this out. Now, when it comes to the concealers, I've been sent six of them. All right, so these concealers are called the Faux Filler Perfecting Concealers. There are 35 shades, and these concealers retail for $26. The actual Morphe concealers are $14, I believe, and I love the Morphe concealer, straight up. Comment below, let me know if you like that Morphe concealer. I love it, okay? I haven't used it in a long time. I need to pull that out again, but I love. Now, this concealer is a lightweight, buildable concealer. <laughs> like I said, I've watched videos, and the buildability of it was looking a little crazy. We're gonna find that out. It offers me medium to full coverage and a matte finish while visibly brightening and blurring for a finish that's fresh and flawless like you got a good night's sleep. I've been given six shades. I'm sure it's the last six or something. I have deep neutral, which might work. Yeah, I might be able to do deep neutral. I've got deep peach. Don't need a peach undertone at all. I've got deep rich golden. I could see myself using deep rich golden just based on the actual shade name. I just know that that'll work for me. Deep rich red. Nope. 
Red Rich, nope. And then we got Rich Neutral, which would likely be some sort of a foundation if I were darker. Not gonna use that. So those are gonna go in a giveaway as always. And then we're gonna use, like I said, the foundation in the color Deep Rich and then the concealers. We're gonna see what Deep Neutral talking about. Depending on how this looks, I'll choose either neutral for the concealer or golden. I like to balance it out. You know, you've been here for a while. You know what it is, okay? I'm still gonna prime my lips using the Elf Cosmetics Lock On Lip Primer, which I need to quit playing and bring this back. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know if it just fell off the, the highway and, and the California industry. I just don't understand. I mean, you know, I don't know where that thing is, okay? So we have this pump. This is the color Deep Rich, like I told you. Let's get some pumps on the hands. This is looking thick. It's looking like my color. Now, it has sheer coverage, so I feel like I should use my finger, <laughs> you know, to not sheer it out even more than it already is. So let's start there and see how that looks. Oh, this is looking kind of pink. Hold on. Mm. But it's sheer, so maybe I don't need to change my color. <laughs> Just kidding. Hold on a second. Who's one? Who's one? Who's one? It's light. It does feel good on the skin. It's just not matching the outer part of my face. Let me continue. I've got light coverage, so let's sheer it out toward the hairline and hope that it looks better. I think it's looking good. It's just, it was just looking so stark toward the hairline. Okay, we're still with Rich right now. We haven't changed it. I almost did, but let's just just go with it, okay? It does feel whipped in some way. It's not melting into the skin like the YSL New Bare Look Tint does, but I mean, this is obviously a different product. I'm, I am seeing the hydration. I'm trying to shear it out toward my hairline, so I'm not wiping anymore. I'm just patting it into the skin like so. No harsh lines, so continuing to pat it here. I don't know if I should do a full face now. What do you think? I mean, this shade is just killing me. I, I can't lie you the shade is killing me and if i didn't any of the reds i know i would hate it i just know that i would hate it so in the deep section i i guess she didn't offer any cool when it got deep it just went red there was a red before this and then this is neutral and then there was a red after this so this is very light that's just number one it's very light on me i'm not liking it at all so i was gonna say oh let me just wear this with nothing else no that's a lie definitely gonna just use this as a primer instead of actually using it as a foundation and then going on with my day, there's just no way. I don't know, it, maybe it's the color that's throwing me off. This is not something that I'm gonna use ever again. If it fit me better, perhaps, like YSL New Bare Tint can totally be worn by itself, highlight, concealer, all the things, or underneath another foundation and still look really good. I would not take this as a primer ever again because the shade is off. It feels like I have on a very hydrating moisturizer and that is it. I don't like it. Honestly, I plan on filming after this and I cannot be looking stupid. So I'm gonna put a foundation on top of this and keep it pushing. So what I am gonna use is the NARS Advanced Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm going to use D6 instead of D3. Both the colors match me, but D6 is darker. I'm using this darker one because I need to darken my face. This is just too light. It looks ridiculous. Let's get some of this. Oh. <laughs> Let's mix some of this in to deepen my face a little bit. Now this is really dark. <laughs> but it's all gonna come together, watch. I'd rather start off with a dark face and make it work than to start off light and be trying to not look like a dead body, you know? Now both of these products have a natural finish and they're both hydrating, so it's not gonna set the finish in any way. All right, all right, all right. I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie, I'm already turned off. I can't lie. I feel like I'm not gonna like it. Okay, so the concealer has medium to full coverage. I'm going to go with this color, which is golden, I figured. Go with gold golden because my face is looking pretty cool right now. So this should be a good way to, mm, this is darker than I expected. I thought it would be lighter. Okay, it feels nice and thin. Now let's blend using my Amazon sponge. We'll link this in all the products below. Let me get a mirror to come real close. Now this is not drying as fast as I thought it was. 
So that to me tells me that if you have dry under eyes, no matter what you use, or especially a product like this, which is matte self-setting, it's going to set into the dryness on your face in a way that you're not going to like. That's why your skincare before your makeup is so important. Stuff is just going to react differently to your skin than it might somebody else's. This looks really good. I was literally expecting a disaster and that did not happen. This looks really good. Again, the color is deep golden rich. Again, it looks really, really beautiful. I'm gonna contour my face with the KVD Beauty Good Apple, all the long names that I just make me really dizzy. And we're gonna contour because that's important. Loving how the skin is looking dewy. Comment and let me know what you're thinking about the complexion thus far. And let me know if this is even a product that interests you. Oh, is this something that you plan on getting? Did you get it already? Are you gonna get the concealer and not the skin tint? What you going to do? Let me know. This is the Patrick Star One Size Blurring Setting Powder that I'm using. And so far, everything looks good. I mean, nothing looks out of the ordinary. It just looks good and looks normal. I am pleasantly surprised. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder, baby. I love this. It's the color Rich. Love to use this to set and deepen my contour color. Have you tried this one? Let me know. <laughs> Hi. And then for face powder, keep it real simple, keep it real easy, keep it real light. We're gonna go ahead and use none other than Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. My color is still 450. It's gonna look real good with this because it's not too dark and we're not trying to make this darker. We did use a darker foundation, so this is a great color. It is a little golden, which I like too. I like the one size powder foundation too. I need to take that back out again and use it. I really like it. It's golden, so it really it just brings out the look in a different way. I love when powders have a golden undertone looks so good on me. Find out which of those look good on you. Is it golden? Is it neutral? Is it warm? Figure it out, baby. And how do you figure that out? Trial and error, honestly. All right, I'm gonna do my usual. That's powder on that side, ignore that. <laughs> I need to wipe it off, like so annoying. My usual highlight. All right, now I'm doing something a little different today. I know that I've tried this Rare Beauty liquid blush in the past, but they sent me more. I'm like, why? Thank you, thank you, Rare Beauty. But I'm like, ah, I wasn't really into it. I tried the dark purple, the berry purple one before. I tried, I think, one of the hot pink ones. I don't know, but this color just looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna try this today. This is the color Believe. I don't know if this gonna show on a kid, though. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> and that wasn't even on purpose. It just looks so beautiful. So let me go back of the hand first and then use this blush brush that was provided to me. Love the angle of it. And let me try to build. It's looking very light, but it's not that it looks bad. It's just looking very light. Oh, you can see on the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Let me wipe off. This is dewy, so it should go with this look. It's not that visible, but I just like the color. You know I love a, a pink mauve, and this is giving mauve. This will look really beautiful on a lighter skin tone, obviously, lighter complexion. I just like the way it looks, but it's not showing on me in a way that makes me wanna keep my hands on it. Yeah, I'm gonna go over this with a blush. Like, this is just not gonna. Like, I can see it. I can see it lightly, but you know me. I want my blush to really show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm torn because I can see it a little, but I'm itching to have more. You know? Yeah, I need more. I just can't leave this just like that. That's just not gonna work for me. So, oh faithful, elf always spicy. Okay, this is obviously more burnt, burnt reddish orange, but this might actually go really pretty together. The combination plate, hold on. I might need to just combination plate this thing. Hold on. Did we just go with a combination? What did we just do? Now, I don't feel like putting on two blushes every day, but I do like how this looks. That was so unsuspecting, cause that wasn't what I was trying to do. Yo, should I keep it and keep that going? The mix? What do you think? Comment, let me know. You gotta hurry up before I give it away. <laughs> That's how you see this video. I don't know where it'll be, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and let's come back. Okay, so for my eyes, oh my gosh, I haven't been using a primer. <laughs> Hold on. I almost did this eye look without a primer. I can't do it. Hold on. Let's primer. 
in the eye now. MAC Cosmetics. This is soft ochre, baby. Paint pop. Love it. Helps to grip the eyeshadow. Also helps to prevent creasing with your eyeshadow. Basically neutralizes the oils on your eyelids so that it doesn't mess up your eyeshadow. I used to use Painterly. It's a light pink. This one is more of a beige, like a light yellow, if you will. I like this too. Using the finger to help it blend a lot more. I'm using this palette that I haven't used before, and we might as well get an eye look out of this, right? Hello, duh. Ooh, a lot of fallout in this Aether Beauty palette. Ooh, that's a little annoying. I'm using the color Desert Sand in this Aether Beauty palette right here in my crease. I like that this is a brown mustard type color. A lot of fallout. Out, tapping off the excess because that's extremely important. Mm, this didn't really give me the shade I was thinking. It's too light. So now I'm using the color Sedona. Sedona is pretty. Isolating out the crease by getting the area between the eyeball and your brow bone. Now I used the same concealer color in my crease and I didn't set it. it it just dried on its own, so that was good. <laughs> I'm looking at my brow bone like, mm, something ain't looking right over here. I'm trying to fix that. And what I like to do is take the brush that I used for my contour and just go right here to make sure that the area where the brow bone highlight and my contour meet doesn't look crazy. So I'm just applying more contour right here. All right, I actually decided to just put Sedona all over the eyelid because why not? Then we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer right to the middle with our finger, I'm gonna show you. This is actually a really pretty eyelid color to give me a neutral type look. I might just leave it like this, what do you think? Okay, so this is a pinky shimmer color that I'm gonna put in the middle of this eye look. Now I really could have wet my finger first, but honestly, this looks good just like that. No need to even wet anything. And then the darkest shade in this palette is called Mesquite. I'm gonna use that as an eyeliner. Ooh, but this has a this has a cool undertone, so it's not looking warm, it's looking gray. Mm. That's not what I wanted for the eyeliner, but here we are. We are here right now, but if your colors look ashy, that means that it's cool toned. All right, these lashes right here from Amazon. I used to use these a lot back in the day. These are not my dramatic faves, but they're gonna have to do while I wait in the mail for a restock in my dramatic favorites, okay? I'm still loving this Eye Envy Lash Glue. When I take off my eyelashes, it doesn't rip my eyelashes off like the bonding glue does, duh. Bonding glue is not even meant for your eyelashes. Lashes. So I'm enjoying this, I really am. It also doesn't cake the eyelash strip like bonding glue does. It's just a better experience, so I enjoy this. Again, I'll link all this stuff below. And I like how it has a brush tip applicator. It makes applying it so easy. Oh my goodness, these lashes are so natural. <laughs> I mean, I might as well have just put on mascara. My goodness gracious. Comment, let me know. You like lashes like this? I can't even see them. I'm just spoiled by my lashes being so dramatic. And I turned the air conditioner on, so it sped up the drying process on my <laughs> lash glue. So I don't think the inside is really like glued on well. <laughs> this Lawless One and Done Mascara is my absolute favorite for the bottom lashes. Oh my goodness. Just outstanding. To line my lips, I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3 Intense. All right, and then this lippy is from Slime Crime and the color is Riot Liquid Lipstick. Mm, this smells, this smells like cake. Now why is the pigment so light? Oh my God. I need more pigment. Where is it? Where is the pigment? I love this color. It reminds me of this one color I had from ColourPop. You know when I had my makeup clean out, I had to get rid of so many goodies. I love this color. I just hate how it was so runny. I like how this looks, y'all. Now I could stop right here, but I'm feeling like putting on a gloss today. What do you think? Should I leave it like this or should I do a gloss on top? I'm doing a gloss on top. I just have to. This is Lawless Plumping Smoothing Nourishing Gloss in the color Daisy Pink. I wanna lighten this up a little bit. Okay, so here's the finished look. I like how this came out. I love the lip, although now it's blending, it's not looking as pink as I wanted it to be. It's looking more mauve, but that's fine. The eyeshadow palette, I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna give it away. It was too, it has so much fallout. The colors just didn't wow me. The eyelashes are throwing me off because they're really small. This is not my usual, but it does look cute. It looks natural. The skin looks great. Obviously, I use it as a primer because by itself, the color was off. The other two surrounding colors that were sent to me, which is what they have, right, out of the darkest shades, would have been red. I don't like red undertone foundations. So this was all I had. And to me, by itself, it's hideous. Under the foundation, I mean, I could do without. So I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna wear that again, just whatever. The concealer, I do like. I'm not seeing creasing underneath. 
I like how it set, I like how it looked, the tone, all of it was beautiful. So that's a yes for me. And other than that, I like the look. I want you to comment below and let me know what you think about the products that I used today. Also watch two more videos that I'm gonna link here for you in the end screen because there are a plethora of videos that I've already posted that you need to watch. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Links are in the description box and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.